We're going to use our sketchbook app today on our iPad. So click the app with the little pencil. If you have a drawing on there already, you're going to click the small box at the top with the dots and the lines. That will pull up this and you want to click New Sketch and then click Create and click the red X. Discard Current Sketch and click it again and there you go. Now we're going to use our pinchy fingers and pinch them together to make our page smaller so we can see the entire page in our work area. Now look back up at the top of your screen and swipe your fingers to find the symmetry tool, the dotted line with the squiggles. I clicked the wrong one. There it is, symmetry. That's the one we want. It'll put a dotted line in the middle of your screen. Now we need to make sure our color is black. Find the colorful circle and tap on it. Then drag the small circle inside the diamond all the way down to the bottom corner and touch your colored circle again to close it out. Now we have black. Next we want our drawing tool. We're going to look for the technical pen. I'm going to get close. First is the pencil, then there is a marker, airbrush, and the fourth one is the technical pen. When you touch the technical pen twice, this black box pops up. You're going to adjust the size by sliding the little white circle over where it says slot size until it's somewhere around the size of six. Since we have our symmetry tool on, we only have to draw on one half of our screen. So take your pinchy fingers and spread them out. Oops, if you make a mistake like this, we don't want it. You can use that undo button. Now, back to spreading it out. I'm spreading my fingers out wide so I can zoom in on just one side of my page. See how the dotted line is right there and part of it's off the screen because we're only going to draw on one half of the page. Start at the very top of your screen and use your finger to draw a horizontal line and you stop when you hit the dotted line. Notice it's automatically made the line on the other side of my screen for me. That's what the symmetry tool does. Isn't that cool? Now go back up to the edge of your paper where we started that line and draw a short diagonal line down. Then where that diagonal line ends, draw a straight line down, but keep it short. Next, we're going to move to the very bottom of our paper and draw a short line all the way to the very edge of the paper. At the top of that line, draw a short horizontal line that goes in towards the middle. Now, move your finger back up to the top and draw another short horizontal line going in towards the middle. Then, we're going to connect the top and bottom horizontal lines together with a big curved line that goes all the way out to the edge of our screen. Use your pinchy fingers now to make the page fit all the way on the screen. So I made it a little bit smaller and put it back in the middle. We're going to look back at the top of our screen where we found the symmetry tool and you're going to swipe your finger until you see a paint bucket. Once you see the paint bucket, tap on it. It says fill. You will know the paint bucket is selected when you see a blue box around it. We will use the paint bucket to color in our entire vase black. So all you have to do is tap inside your vase. Oh no! It turned my entire screen black! What do I do? I click the undo button. The reason my screen turned black is because look really close. These two lines are not connected to each other. So the paint was able to spill out into the background. We need to fix that. So in order to fix it, click on your technical pin again so the paint bucket is no longer selected. You'll see the blue box around the technical pin. Then zoom in really close where the lines are not connected. Oops, let me undo. Now I'll try it again. Zoom in really close and you can connect those lines together. I zoom back out when I'm ready. 
Before I use the paint bucket again, I'm going to check to see if there's another open space. Look, I found one, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect that line and then use my pinchy fingers to zoom back out so I can see my whole vase in the screen again. Now, click your paint bucket again at the top of your screen and tap inside your vase. Oh no, it still spilled out a little bit. So I'm gonna hit the undo button, go back to my pen and check. I think it's this bottom line. So I'm zooming and checking any areas, hitting my paint bucket. Oh, a little bit spilled out again. So I'll hit undo, go back to my pen, zoom in. I forgot to bring that one all the way down to the edge. All right, let's see if it works this time. It worked, woohoo! So remember not to get too frustrated when you make mistakes. You just saw me make a whole bunch of them. The best part about this program is getting to use that undo button to fix any accidental mistakes. We're going to stop here with just a plain black vase and we will add our designs and decorations next week. To save your artwork to be shared on Canvas, watch the video underneath this one back on the assignment page. It will show you how to save a picture from the Sketchbook app. Then submit your assignment to Canvas.